Gregory, you better come get your life. Because when is this gonna end now? It's been nearly a, it's been ne it's been a whole year and we're still here. We are still here. Gregory, you better come get your life. Because nobody's getting it for you. Nobody. Gregory, you better come get your life. Because no one's getting it for you and we're tired. Why is the fridge that empty? Gregory, you better come get your life. Because no one here is getting it for you. And we are here again. And at this point, we need to really begin getting into the ignoring phase. Because it seems as if there is a lot of t attention seeking going on here. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I don't have time for this. Like, I genuinely don't have time for what is going on right now. I'm currently not, not in London, I'm just on a Greek island, as you are, and we have Gregory piping up when he really needs to be piping down. He's piping up, but you need to be piping down, please. I don't want to have to call the damn plumber because you're piping up and we need you to be piping down, please. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. Subscribe to the channel. Please click that button and subscribe, guys. I'm coming to you from a Greek island because, yeah, I randomly am. And we're going to get into this, but we don't really have to, but we do. Um, Gregory's talking. Gregory's actually talking, guys. And I don't understand why he's talking. I think this is, at this point, it's just attention seeking. Can you believe it's been one year, one whole year since I'm on Love Island? Congrats, Gregory said. Gregory said, I'm coming to you on crud. Gregory said, I'm pissed. Gregory said, I'm annoyed. And you will know. And this is what he's coming with. And at this point, it's like attention seeking, it's PR uh, to keep your name relevant in people's mouths. Because if you weren't doing it for the fame game, because his main, you know, rhetoric when he left the villa was, you know, I'm gonna go back to the law, I'm gonna go back to this, I don't really want the fame stuff, I'm not really into that. If you're not into all of that, as you first express, you wouldn't be doing this online. That is an immediate contradiction and makes you hypocritical. You wouldn't want to gain any kind of attention related to the show, related to her, related to this, X, Y, Z, but you continue to do so because you obviously do want some attention and PR seeking and it shows your immaturity and you're literally digging your own damn grave by saying all of this stuff. It's making you come off very bitter because if a girl was doing this, you know, there would have been that bitter narrative as well. And I feel like you're definitely getting that. And if I was your manager, if I worked as your PR, I would thoroughly advise against it because now what has happened is you have instilled the purpose that nobody can really know about you or talk about you or book you for anything without any relevance to Amber because you yourself have done that post the show as well. And for a lot of people, why I feel like they don't become successful in life is that they don't look at the longevity. They don't look at longevity. And when you don't look at that, you think of this you know, short-timed paced success. You think everything, everything's gonna be okay, but you don't look far ahead. And for him to be doing this stuff, maybe it's PR, maybe it's attention, it works for now, but the key word is for now. This is not gonna take you anywhere other than a road of bitterness and nonsense. This is not gonna take you anywhere. There's no longevity of success in trying to act like this. Now, to be thoroughly unbiased, because I always am, yes, the tweet that Amber made could have been perceived as her being like, you know, oh, I want on my own, I didn't want with Gregory, whatever, whatever, but that doesn't justify or excuse Gregory's kind of bitterness behavior. I feel like it's just unnecessary. Um, I feel like they both have kind of shit each other online, but Gregory far more than Amber, realistically speaking and factually speaking. But they both have done so here and there about being a solo winner and so forth. So, you know, you have to, you have to be unbiased and fair. 
But Gregory has been doing it a lot more, and for, and he's and he's also contradicting himself because he claims he's not really here for the fame game situation. He's not here for this. He's not here for that. He just wants to go back to his home, back to lawyering, back to rugby. And well, Gregory, you better come and get your life, please. You better come and get your life because we've all had enough now at this point. At this point, I genuinely feel like Gregory is doing all this nonsense so that he can get a reaction out of me at this point. To be honest with you and it's like Gregory as you and me can now both see I'm not in London I'm trying to just enjoy and you know detox myself currently so can you just please leave me alone as well at this point just go away do you know what I mean I'm um, does send the guy any hate because I feel like nobody should receive any hate you know whoever's involved but at some point you know we had an intervention with him on my last video we discussed what was going on and I thought at that point he listened I thought the intervention was going well for him, but sometimes we do have people who do relapse, and I feel that is exactly what is going on here when Gregory is acting up a madness. And it's like, it's long, guys, and I'm over it. Let me know your thoughts are, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.